going? You know we're in tier 4 lockdown. But Dubai is in tier 1. Hey guys, it's David and today I've got an exclusive interview with someone from 2022. Yes, 2022. It sounds crazy, but it's going to be worth it. Hey guys, <laughs> David from 2022 and I'm going to be talking about activities you can do post lockdown. So the first activity I'm going to recommend is escape rooms. So now escape rooms is a great idea actually. You can do it as a couple, you can do it as a family and it just allows you to use your brain and you know solve puzzles. It can cause a lot of arguments but at the end of it it's just fun and games. So the next activity I'm going to recommend is indoor rock climbing. Now indoor rock climbing um, can be a lot of fun. It does play on the fact that you, know, you're, you could be scared of heights but it allows you to overcome those fears and it's great fun to actually do as a couple um, but you cannot do as a bigger group as well. Hmm. Those are some really good ideas. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. Like, comment, let me know what other videos I can do next. Um, and it's greatly appreciated because it just lets me know I need to keep recording more videos and posting them online. So now let's see what other great ideas I have. The next activity I'm going to recommend you do post lockdown is hot air balloon rides. I actually um, love the idea of a hot air balloon because it gives you a different perspective of the world. It's almost like a panoramic view instead of like the airplane window. And you actually feel the elements, so you feel the wind blowing on you, the rain when you're going through clouds. It's definitely something to do in your lifetime. So the next activity I'm going to recommend is indoor skydiving. I actually um, would love to do um, indoor skydiving. It's a bit more safer, but it just gives you that sense of zero gravity, which you just won't get, you know, anywhere else. And there's like a big fan blowing you up. So usually you can do it in pairs of two, so you and your partner. And it just gives you an experience that is just amazing. So it's a bit expensive, but go kart. Yes, um, go kart is expensive, but um, it's a lot of fun. And you get to basically, you know, get a group together. It is a bit cheaper when you do go with a bigger group, but, um, and you're just basically in a really safe space where you can drive crazy and, you know, um, race around the track and, you know, you're going to love it if you do it. The next activity I'm going to recommend is Go Ape. I actually did um, Go Ape actually with my company that I work for. Um, I've done it twice now and it's a lot of fun. It's basically an obstacle course within the trees. So if you're scared of heights, this plays on it heavy. Um, I've had a few people cry on the course itself and it just allows you to challenge yourself and it's a great group activity. So the next activity I'm going to recommend is Speedboat. I love the idea of Speedboat riding because it just allows you to really have that rush of adrenaline um, but at the same time, you don't even need to know how to swim because they do give you a life jacket and they strap you into the chair, but they drive you up and down the river terms and it's a lot of fun. So the next activity I'm going to recommend is a bit painful, but paintballing. Ooh, paintballing. Um, I would recommend doing it if you've never done it before. Um, do it in a big group, you know, it's a lot of fun and they do split you into um, separate teams where you, you know, you can and chase each other and face each other like a big war zone um, but it's very painful but it is a lot of fun as well and the last activity I'm going to recommend is ice skating I'm actually quite surprised that you chose um, ice skating actually but um, it's one of those things I've always wanted to do and um, they do do it during Winter Wonderland when it does open back up um, but they do have in indoor um, ice skating rinks all across the country so it's definitely worth doing if you haven't done and even if you can't ice skate it is a lot of fun just falling and learning at the same time if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below, like, comment, and let me know any other videos you'd like us to do.